In terms of the future, the future of work, what does it look like? Because people speculate about this all the time. Uh, for me, instead of trying to define what it looks like, I think the bigger thing that we need to focus on is how do we build whatever it is that we want to see. Uh, because usually when we say what is the future of work, we we make a couple assumptions on there, which I think are are wrong. The first thing that we assume is that there's just one future, right? What is the one future of work that we're going to see? Uh, and the second assumption that we make is that the future is not something that we can control. It's just something that's going to happen to us. And what do we do when it, when it gets here? And so I think it's important to kind of flip that around uh, and instead think about uh, what are the many potential futures that might happen? Uh, maybe we'll see a lot of AI and automation. Maybe it'll look a lot the way it does now. Maybe we'll see a balance between technology and automation. Maybe we'll see massive chaos. Uh, depending on the part of the world that you look at, you'll probably see a combination of all these different things happen. Maybe automation in some industries, but nothing changes in other industries. Maybe some parts of the world have a lot of automation, other parts of the world don't. So I don't think it's as black and white as some people try to make it sound. I think it's constantly uh, going to be very dynamic. Uh, and the second thing or the second part of that is we don't spend enough time trying to think about the future that we that we want to see happen. Right. We ask, what is the future of work? But how come we don't ask um, what's the future of work we want to see and how do we build that future of work? So for me, I want to see a future where we have a lot of new opportunities that are created, where technology helps us remove the mundane, boring tasks from our lives, where, where we create organizations that are more human, where people enjoy showing up to work, where we see um, kind of a higher engagement levels, more of that sense of purpose and an engagement and meaning in our lives. I mean, that, that for me is the future of work that I want to see happen. And that is the one that I'm trying to build through the uh, speeches that I give, the courses that I create, the books that I write. And so I want to encourage people watching and listening to think about it from that perspective as well. What do you want to see the future of work look like and what are you doing to help build it? I think a lot of people would think like that, but they also feel helpless as if it's a, a tide you can't quite stop. Like technology moves on once it's here, you usually don't go back. Yeah, I mean, I totally get it. Um, but that's not the right way to think. Um, if you just view yourself as a power, kind of like a leaf blowing in the wind, that's a very surefire way to, uh, to make sure that you will get automated and replaced. Um, everyone has to take accountability, right? I mean, you can learn whatever you need to learn to be successful and relevant in the future. Uh, so there's no reason to feel helpless. The technology changes, but technology is a tool. And if you assume that the tool itself is going to take over the world, then I hate to say it, but you're kind of the tool. <laughs> so don't don't think about it like that as far as I'm helpless and powerless. Instead, think about it as, um, uh, you know, I got to be more accountable and responsible. Uh, you know, there's uh, in, in a lot of the talks that I give, I always like to give the um, uh, the quote uh, with a great uh, power comes great responsibility. You know, you, I think it was in the Spider-Man movie, but the quote comes uh, much earlier on than that. And I like to flip it around and I say, with great accountability and responsibility comes great power. So if you are willing to be more accountable and responsible over your career, your skills, what the future is going to look like, how to build it, you will have much more power instead of just kind of sitting there and just waiting. How do you think about UBI or potential socialism? Do you think we're going to need to change what we're doing today? Mm -hmm. Uh, I know there are a couple experiments that are going on for universal basic income. I think it's an interesting idea, but it's one potential idea. And it by itself is not going to solve anything. It's not as if you can leave everything the way it is, just give people a little bit of extra money every month, and then think that the world will be a better place. I think lots of things need to change. The way that we uh, teach um, and educate kids and, and people in college, elementary school, middle school, uh, the accountability that individuals need to have over their careers, the accountability that organizations have for training and reskilling. And sure, maybe universal basic income can be another kind of ingredient that goes in there. But again, it's an ingredient. You're, you're not going to make um, a, a delicious stew or soup just with chicken broth, right? The universal basic income is the pepper or the salt or the broth. But there are a lot of other things that you got to throw in there to make that thing taste good. And uh, I think for us, just relying on universal basic income as a, as a silver bullet is just not going to happen. If you had to leave people with one thing, a quote, a call to action, it can be anything, what would it be and why? 
uh, probably take more accountability over building your own future. So don't rely on other people, on companies, on schools to teach you everything you need to need to know to be successful. Uh, take matters into your own hands. Ask yourself, what's the future you want to see happen and what do you need to do to build it?